Where are we right now? So we are at the Zambia border, exiting Zimbabwe. We're gonna go swim in Angel Falls, Devil's Pool, overlooking one of the biggest waterfalls in the world. Let's do this. <laughs> So currently, we're walking across the border to Zambia. We have no idea what we're doing today. Literally none. This was an impromptu trip. Oh, wow. This is fucking cool. This is Mitch. He's ready. We kind of floated... <laughs> <laughs> we floated the idea of going bungee jumping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the Zambezi River. We're over the weight limit, eh? Eat for the rest of the day, take a big old food, and then come back. <laughs> I reckon we should. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> jump, like, jump the challenge is to do it backwards. Okay? Jump. Um, okay. Just 168 bucks. Only a hundred sixty-eight bucks. <laughs> oh, you so many things I can do for five seconds of joy for a hundred sixty-eight. So okay. many things. Okay, you do this. You pay two hundred and thirty, and we'll give you three or two. Three. Yes. Which ones? Supply, swing, and bungee. But we just want a bungee. Uh, just bungee. How much you can do for that one? No, bungee is just one sixty-eight. One sixty-eight. Yeah. If you do two hundred for two, we can do it. No. And for the tandem? For well, the tandem swing is 250. But it's 200 bucks. So we just tried to. We just tried to find where Devil or Angel's Pool is, and the main tour operator is really expensive. So we're trying to go the budget needle. style. Yeah, we're going, we're going native. Africa style. Africa style. So we're walking around trying to sort it, and it's fucking hot and humid as shit. It is fucking hot. Can hot me. We've uh, made it into Victoria Falls on the Zambian side. On the Zambian side. Step one of our three-step plan. Three-step plan. Yeah. We, three found, step we, plan. Found, we found the dude that we can bribe to take the, the boss's speedboat. Oh, make... no. Local security. Local security. <laughs> we did find a guy to bribe. I didn't realize he was there. The butt It is very wet, very, very, very wet. 
Maybe should have gotten a rain. I went back to get a poncho to protect my camera because I am far too paranoid to be <laughs> gallivanting in the pouring goddamn rain with my expensive camera. My iPhone's good, but my camera ain't worth the risk. <laughs> we have Mr. Instagram in the wild. <laughs> very wet. I don't think I've ever been so wet and so happy about it. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> so some Vic Falls advice for you. Uh, bring baggies. Bring baggies, bring ring punches. <laughs> oh my god. Your face. You can get fucked. I love living in 2024 so I can tell men to shut the fuck up. Anyway, bring rain punches, bring little zip locks. Zip locks and things. But it's incredible. I've never I've never seen anything like this. It's insane. <laughs> We just finished the falls, we're still moist. Very moist. I mean, that's wet, that's, if you will. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, not much of a change for you, but I'm not used to this. <laughs> anyway, we came to this little cafe and we asked if they had gin, and the guy, they're like, the guy's like, no. And then she was like, yeah, we do. So we're getting some gin. So, what was the problem solving? So, so I, we ordered um, two double gin and tonics. First problem, no tonics. So what about lemonade? Yeah, that's fine. Comes over, we actually don't have ice. We also don't have lemonade. But we do have ginger ale. And I said, just because it's got the word gin in it, doesn't mean it's all right with gin. So, she said, what about Sprite? So I said, that's lemonade. You can do Sprite. Sprite's cool. Sprite and gin, but no ice, because load shedding. Exactly. I like how they have like the biggest resource to generate electricity, and they're still load shedding. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's so hot, but there's no way to keep it anything cold. cold. <laughs> Thank you. He was actually just—he was actually just talking about how he wish wishes he had people like you working for him. Okay, I would love to work for you. <laughs> wow, we gotta get you to England, but you were, its very cold. It's very cold. Yeah. Come on, I can take the cold. This is what they all say. So yeah, in Zambia, during the 60s, 70s, going into the 80s, there was this genre of music that came out called Zamo, which is like psychedelic rock mixed with African music, so Zambi traditional Zambian music. So it's like a, a merger. Um, so if you could imagine Afrobeat without all the electrical bits and Jimi Hendrix mixing together. How fucking cool that is. So there's a band here called Witch, and they were like the Elvis Presley of the 60s, 70s in Zambia. Um, so I've been asking people around, do you know Witch? The younger people don't know it, but I reckon if we ask some of the older people, they'll be able to tell us about Witch. Apparently, 
which would come into the town that you they would just do surprise shows and stuff all over and if anybody heard about it villagers from all over zambia would come and watch which these like makeshift concerts so yeah you should definitely check into that so zamrock mm. zamrock yeah yeah we'll have a lovely sprite chateau la sprites and i think it's a 2023 very good year for sprites Took the took the legs on that. <laughs> Lala, such a bliss. So I'm going to call the boys and Michel. It's a very nice uh, sprite. It's very good here. It's a very uh, delicious, uh, magnifique. Because it's shot in Jenny Sequoia. So now we're headed back to see about bungee jumping. See if they give us a good deal. But look at his passport. Show me how wet it is very wet it's so wet but they actually the scary thing is that there's a chance that they say no you have to apply for a new passport in Zambia that's possible I heard it before I have heard of that that's why they tried to sell you the fucking the plastic bag you just bought a one dollar plastic bag so I like I gave you advice earlier buy the plastic bag do not be like a bitch we're at the bungee jumping place, trying to see if we can get a deal. Hustle. Doing a little hustle. Uh, All while dragging it out so I can dry my passport at the same time. <laughs> Just leave it on the desk there. That is so sad. <laughs> it is really sad. Uh, so like I had advised you all, bring plastic bags. Do you agree with that advice? No balloon, no party. Update, we found more drinks. And we're gonna do the swing, 110 meters, which is like oh, 300 feet, I think. Something like that. And yeah, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna jump. Right there. Over the Zambezi River. Um, we definitely did talk them into a better deal. Not what we wanted, but pretty good deal. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're so ready. I'm ready, baby. I should have peed. Maybe it's the adrenaline, but oh, I got a few really good The third biggest bungee or swing in the world. Super. Yeah, so we are we are swinging. We're doing it alone because I got too much ass to go together. <laughs> Just do the normal thing, and then just after that, you, you next for the next time, then you will do it. All right. I would like to see how you behave for the first one. Okay. Okay. All right. Then when you plan for the next time, you see, I just want to see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Have you seen a video? I've seen a good luck. I've seen one of these and good luck.
will say, I'm literally shaking. I'm very nervous, but I'm gonna do it because I already paid for it, and that's how things go. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling not in sweat. You ready? They won't let me do it topless, so I'm putting on a bikini. Let's do it. Well, maybe you're gonna flash a bit. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah. So they're gonna put the GoPro on. I'm gonna buy the fiddles. Love and the baby. That's smaller than gonna get rough. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here's the twibbles. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's so cute. The Clare Falls next to the Victoria Falls. Fit together, looking straight to the right. Breathe, you want to swing, you then find pop up. That's all you need to do. Got it? Holding the bottom one. The bottom one. The yellow connection there. That's all you want. Right, you ready? Hmm. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> that was fun? Why are you smiling yeah, so I, hard? I to see that GoPro. Try not to smile. That GoPro video. Nothing. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the world. Dang. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> jokes. I have jokes. How was it? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty dang good. good. This fucker hasn't eaten all day, so yeah. we gotta get him some food. It's weird to think about eating while you're jumping off of a bridge. The whole um, time. I had to pee really bad before I jumped, and now I don't. So either I peed myself, or it was fake. <laughs> Do I smell like pee? Kind of always smell like pee, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> to Livingston in Zambia to get some food and then we're gonna go to another adventure and I'm stoked! Ah! <laughs> Like a rabid bear? Literally, I'm reading the things on the menu and I feel like I, I can already taste them. Like, I want to bite the menu. So, you, you know when I looked at you strange for not eating this morning? Mm. You were smart, I'm done. You're big, I'm small. You're thin, I'm fat. You're pretty, I'm ugly. I That's, get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ugh. I'm the one who was too. <laughs> <laughs> the table. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> Welcome what? to What's Af wrong with me? Like everything I touch breaks. Break everything. At least the cord didn't break. I think there's been like some witch doctor shit going on. Like something. It's cursing. possible. <laughs> Mitch is uh, terrorizing people. <laughs> Okay, so these little things here, these are called chappies. And any Southern African school child will probably learn more from chappies than they will from their teachers at school. So you open up these, uh, these chappies, I'll open up one up for you. And inside, it has different facts about different things. Yeah, yes, sure. Thank you. Salumba. <laughs> Six hours later. Well, yeah, it's a pretty sticky. Here we have crocodile bites. How are they? So freaking good. I think crocodile is my new favorite meat. It's really, really good. So this is Nishima. And this is crocodile ribs. And do you know what these are called? This is chakalaka, and that's maro. Maro. Chakalaka, maro. Crocodile ribs. Talk to me. What's up? So, now we're going to go to our art and craft market. And you're going to see what Zambia has to offer. Maybe some homemade shirts out of Zambia materials. Maybe something to put my cigarettes in besides my ears. He doesn't really need to be smoking, but he's doing it anyway. But yeah, so we're going to walk into an arts and crafts market right now in Livingston. Uh, Livingstone? Livingston. Sorry. Zambia. Woo! So, after walking around Livingston for a little bit, just a little tip if you come down this way, don't stay in Zimbabwe. Don't stay in Victoria Falls. Stay in Livingston. It's a real place. And there's actually people that live their life here and not uh, random people just hustling tourists, except that. Per use. Now we're headed to a really fancy hotel to have some cocktails before crossing back over to Zimbabwe. The border closes at 10, so we have a couple hours. <laughs> We've now um, infiltrated a five-star hotel. Looking into this fancy hotel with cigarettes behind my ear. <laughs> oh, this is a nice way to end the day, isn't it? It's <laughs> nice way Chilling in the five star resort, just like in. With some zebras. Yeah, we should have a whiskey. Trapped these poor zebras in here. It's like it's like the movie Get Out, but with zebras. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I swear this is an unnatural habitat. It's fucking rich white men everywhere. <laughs> the habitat is white rich men. <laughs> It is 
so fun. You just rocked up in this. It's a five star hotel. Now I'm getting changed and we're gonna be swimming in the pool. You made them bring us towels. <laughs> Crazy. When I say life is so unserious, That is next level. Did you think when you woke up this morning, you'd be jumping off no. the third highest bungee jump in the world and then coming and swimming? I it? had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just got. Now we're waiting on our overpriced taxi back to the border. We have about an hour and 30 minutes to make it across. So we're wondering why we paid $10 for the taxi. It's a lot nicer than the taxi we arrived in, I'm not too sure. I don't feel like there's a even a slim chance of me contracting scabies just from sitting on the seat. <laughs> we just stamped out of the Zambian border and now we must walk to Zimbabwe. These flowers. Ready to walk? Yeah, I just fly into the flowers. <laughs> so tired. I've never felt so disgusting and sweaty in my whole life and like literally grainy. I've just been in a constant state of wet <laughs> all day and I'm very excited for this hostel shower. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little vlog with my hilarious friend Mitch from South Africa. And yeah, God, I really loved Zambia today. I just had such a fun <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.